Coach President Marcy Meyer, and I'm here to introduce a series of short videos regarding a referendum question that's going to be on your ballot November 8th. Um, with a referendum, you get to decide whether or not we're going to build a new public safety facility to replace our current police station. The videos you're going to see are a tour of our current police station. You're going to see the site of the proposed facility along with some site plans. And most importantly, you're going to see the finances, how this is going to affect the taxes for all of us. With that, thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoy the video. Hi, I'm Officer Drew with the Beecher Police Department. Uh, today here, we're here to tell you about uh, some of the deficiencies with our police departments. In addition to the plumbing issues, uh, we also have an HVAC issue located throughout the building. Um, there's lots of asbestos. Almost every room you go into, there's asbestos. This building was made back in 1910, so with a building of that year, you're going to have asbestos. Hi, my name is Officer Hansen. I'm with the Beecher Police Department. I'm also a village resident of Beecher. Behind me today is our parking garage, which used to be a well house for Beecher. It was established in 1910. Inside our parking garage is where we park our vehicles. It is where we use, uh, we have an armory for our weapons and also a locker room. It is not an ideal situation for us. For safety concerns on the north side of the building, our threshold is eroding. When citizens come for public service, it is a trip hazard which is dangerous. There is no handicap access to the building. We want our citizens who are handicapped to feel comfortable coming to our police station. In our police station, we have an awkward layout. Our fingerprinting room and our weapons locker is not ideal for our station. Currently, the west side of our building sits higher than our east side of our building. We had to construct stairs in order to get from the west to the east. Currently, there is no air conditioning on the east side of our building as well. Externally, our police station needs tuck pointed. The tuck pointing is out, outdated. In our current police station, we have no juvenile holding cell, which is required by law. In our interview room, it is not soundproof. So when we are interviewing witnesses, they can be sitting next to the offender. On the west side of our building is where our receptionist is. We have no secure windows to keep it safe. All offices and rooms are filled with supplies due to lack of storage place. In addition to multiple issues with the station itself, uh, we do not have adequate parking for let alone our police vehicles or our personal vehicles or impounded vehicles. If we take custody of someone's uh, vehicle for safekeeping or as a seizure, we have nowhere to put it other than the alleyway out back or sometimes we borrow a public works facility. As you guys have already seen, uh, I've had on multiple occasions of just the general public would walk into the station in secure areas. Uh, unfortunately at this facility there is no secure areas because most of the locked doors don't work. So if we have multiple occasions we'd be sitting there on break having lunch and the general public would come in wanting to ask a question while we're all sitting there having lunch. Uh, that's not safe, that's not secure, that's not something we can have at a police station.